Are you looking to configure your homepage display and how posts will appear? Well, let's go to Reading Settings. When you are in the dashboard, make your way to Settings and then click on Reading. The Your Homepage Displays section, located at the top, is an important part of setting up your site's front page. It allows you to choose between a feed of your most recent blog posts or an existing static page. If you opt for your latest posts, your front page will be a chronological list of your most recent blog posts. It's important to note that if you choose your latest posts as your homepage display, you will need to build your homepage within the blog home template, depending on your theme. Let's see this in action by going to the site editor. If we click on pages, we will see at the top, next to the home icon, our homepage is our blog home template. And when we open up our blog home template, we will see our latest posts. And as mentioned, this is the place we will edit our homepage if we select latest posts as our homepage display. For my business website, I've chosen to set a static homepage. I will go to the drop down under homepage and then select the homepage I already created. I also created a news page and will set that as my static posts page. If you don't want a blog or posts page on your site, you can just skip this step. Keep in mind that if you choose this option, your homepage will be assigned to the pages template by default and your posts page will be assigned to the blog home template. We can see how this works when we make our way to pages and open up our homepage. And in our sidebar settings, we will see that the homepage has been assigned to the pages template. And if we make our way to our news page or our posts page, we will see that this page has been assigned to the blog home template and we will edit this page within the blog home template. Something else to mention, when you build your header, remember to add the home link block as your home navigation item. This link will always direct visitors to your homepage, regardless of which homepage display setting you selected. The next section determines how many blog posts are shown before requiring users to click over to a new page. I suggest leaving the number at 10, as you don't want to negatively impact your site's loading time. Please note that you can also change this number when you edit the query loop block displaying your posts. This next setting controls how many of your website's posts are shown in the RSS feed. The RSS feed is a way for users to subscribe to your website and receive updates whenever you publish new content. Think of it like a notification system that keeps readers informed about your latest posts. When you add new content to your site, the RSS feed automatically updates to include the new posts. By adjusting this setting, you can decide how many of these posts will be visible in the feed at any given time. You can set this to any amount that suits your needs, but I will keep it at 10. I can also specify whether the feed will include a summary or the full content of the post. I'm going to switch this over to summary or excerpt, which will show any catchy excerpt I wrote in the meta box when I created my post. Lastly, we have an option called search engine visibility. I recommend checking this box only if your website is in the development phase. It will minimize the chances of it being picked up. But don't forget to uncheck it when your site goes into production as you will want search engines to index your site.